Oh, oh yeah. Oh, missed. Oh. I've come back to Loch Scridden on the Isle of Mull. This is really one of my favourite places to fish. It's just bloody beautiful. <laughs> There's no other way of putting it, to be honest. I'm not coming here solely to fish. I'm actually up here working for some friends who are trying to finish their home that they're building here. But in the kind of northern summer evenings where it stays lighter a lot longer, it'd just be rude not to come down and do some fishing. And that's really what I've been doing in the evenings, coming down, getting some pollock and doing some feathering for mackerel, which there doesn't seem to be any shortage of. And to be honest, I've probably caught my fair share of fish over the last week. So I thought I'd knock my chances down and try something a little bit harder, which is trying to catch mackerel on basically a bare hook, which if the rumours I've heard are believed to be true, is something that can be done. So I'm going to put that to the test. Gear-wise, what I'm using is just a, a carp rod. Reel-wise, I've got a large spinning reel that I, I normally use for pike fishing, and that's just loaded with somewhere between 30 or 40 pound braid. And the rig I've tied is a twisted dropper loop rig. It's got a single, just standard O'Shaughnessy hook on it. I've got a swivel at the end, just in case it twists up. And at the bottom, one of these weights, which I made in the previous video, it's just lead inside a nitrous oxide bottle. Anyway, I think probably talking time's over and it's about time I go and cast some weights into the sea. With a bit of luck, we might get a fish. I'm guessing mackerel aren't the cleverest fish in the sea, and that's probably why I like them. Or it could be that having a few for dinner is an easy way to stay fat and happy. But I'm not alone. In Scotland, they're so popular, they've even made it onto the five pound nose. So to cast, I'm just doing a, a kind of lazy swinging chuck. I've got a tailwind, which is making me look better than I am, to be honest. And really, once it hits the water, I can just let the weight tighten up on the rod and normally with mackerel that's the kind of point where you'll get them within the first few meters but because there's no feather rig on here it's really dropping fast that weight once it hits the bottom I'm just pulling back winding up pulling back winding up that's all there is to it really repeat until you catch a fish or not So I'm at that point in the evening where the midges have decided to come out for a bit of an evening meal and looks like I'm on the bloody menu. That's the only drawback of Scotland. I'm just chemicaling myself up. Still no sign of a bloody fish. If this was an ordinary evening now, I kind of probably would have bagged up and be on my way home. But I've seen nothing moving apart from some, some bloody seals. So they're just there to taunt me. I don't know whether the GoPro is going to pick that up, but I can just see a load of white bait or sand hills or whatever. Just there's obviously mackerel behind them. Let's see if I can do something with that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, missed. Oh, come on. Where have you gone? Despite the odd pluck at the line, time was ebbing away and I'd really put in a few hours without any luck. But there's often a point I reach when I'm not catching where I realise the fish I'm pursuing have probably got the tiniest of brains, but they're making full use of them, whereas I'm probably not. Thankfully, it's normally just after this realisation that a proper pull on the rod tip confirms that just as every village has its idiot, so does every show. I think we might actually have something. I don't care what it is, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, don't lose this bloody thing. It feels like a mackerel. Oh yeah, it's a mackerel. 
Oh yeah. Please don't drop off. Please don't drop off. Oh, look at that. It's a bloody mackerel. <sighs> Answers the question, yes. You can catch fish on just a bit of hook. That's quite a nice size, that. That's a little fella. Yeah, you can catch mackerel on pear oaks, but it's bloody hard. I think next time I'm gonna to stick to feathers. <sighs> oh well, that's not gonna feed three people. Not unless we do a pasta salad. Um, I think I'm gonna to have to carry on and see if I can find something else. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I did give it a few more half-hearted casts before the sun began to set and then made my way back up over the hill to share the catch. And for dinner, well, let's just say some people had a little fresher fish than others. So I'm still up in Scotland and I'll probably be here for another couple of weeks. So keep your eye out for upcoming videos. But there was something else I wanted to talk about. You may have noticed recently that the channel's just got over 100,000 subscribers, which is absolutely bonkers to be, to be honest. I was living literally only a few miles down the coast from here when I started this channel. And it was really started out of the frustration of being able to find information, reliable information on how to make bits of fishing tackle for myself to be honest and i thought other people would be in that same position so i started making videos with with borrowed cameras and really dodgy sound and some of them i can't really watch these days but they're still out there in youtube land but that's just waffle what i really wanted to do was just say thanks basically thanks to all the people who've subscribed hundred thousand which i still can't get over and all the people who've liked these videos and shared and made this kind of channel what it is there's also some other people I need to thank as well. And one of them has got to be my wife, to be honest. That bloody big expensive lens that I'm, I'm talking to you through. Um, she got everybody in her family to chip in for a birthday present for her, which was that lens. And then she gave it to me so I could make these videos, as well as obviously helping me sometimes film and edit and giving me advice. And not always, the happy, <laughs> not always what I wanted to hear, but you know, always worth listening to. So thanks because you're watching this at home. There's also a, another group of fans who've really gone that extra mile and stuck their hand in the pocket and, and really kept this channel running, to be honest, as the kind of YouTube revenues dropped away of late. And that's my Patreon patrons. So to you, an absolute massive thanks. When making these videos has just been phenomenal. I couldn't really have dreamed that I would end up doing this. And realistically for me to continue i need your support um, i feel like i've only just really scratching the surface and there's so many places to go so many things to do um, and i'd really like to take this to a step further kind of beyond where it is at the moment so if you'd really like to help please consider going over to my patreon site and maybe sticking a dollar down a month or a dollar down a video if you can afford it if not Thanks for everything, and I'll see you back, hopefully, in about a week. Cheers.